Hey fandom, how's it going? Uh, today we're going to talk about a hardcover that uh, I think is pretty cool. Um, if you are a fan of Conan and mythical creatures, you should really love this. Uh, some problems though, and I'm going to get into it in a minute. Uh, first of all, the series that I'm talking about is, this is the Colossal Conan. Beauty, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, the Colossal Conan is written by Kurt Busiek along with a bunch of other writers. Basically, this collects the uh, Dark Horse series that first came out, and it collects issues 0 through 50 of the Dark Horse series. Uh, basically, it tells one whole giant story of Conan, and you get his backstory, his life. I think that's really interesting. You get flushed out his life. Um, what happened was, early on, Kurt Busiek, he was uh, asked to do the project. He was asked to do Conan. And he wasn't too certain of it because Conan at the time, it was kind of in a rut. It was a property that nobody really cared about. So Kurt Busiek, he took it on and he uh, spoke with the editor of Dark Horse and he was saying, let's kind of do a reboot of Conan where we are going to take the original stories and we're going to reinterpret them. We're going to add new characters, but we're going to keep the core. We're going to keep what works from the original good series. And we basically have this. This is huge. This is about 14 pounds. And it's over easily like 1,200 pages. It's, it's awesome. This is a very great book. Uh, production wise, you got to be Conan pretty much to lift it as well. You've got an introduction by Kurt Busiek and an afterwards by Timothy Truman. See that? Okay. The downside. I don't know if I got a bad copy, but the binding on this thing is falling apart. So, uh, I'll show you. So you can see that. Yeah, the binding on it, look at that. Tearing apart. Uh, I've got, a, Amazon was cool enough to give me my money back and I'm getting a replacement. Uh, as it stands though, I cannot, as great as it is, and as much as I think the stories are awesome, Without me having a replacement copy, and I will make an updated video saying if the new copy is good or not, I cannot recommend this to you. That's just what from what I've got. Uh, I've seen other people online that say their binding is perfect, they have no problem. Maybe it was a one-off, I will make a replacement, I will make another video if that is the case. So, uh, right now, I can recommend you pick up the trades though. There's a series of trades that are, I believe it's 1 through 10, that contain the whole story and you get it all. This is really a fun, great read. It's, it's, Conan is awesome. He's badass in it. Mike Mignola does art in this series. It is great, 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 great. The story starts out basically with a prince. A prince and he's doing excavating and he sees this statue of Conan and he's wondering, hey, what's going on? And he asks this priest that he's with and the priest is extremely pissed he does like yeah I don't want to talk about it and it's later revealed who the priest actually is and he's telling this story of basically Conan's life and throughout all the 50 issues you're basically getting that story it's great there's strong female characters in it I think it's a super great read the art is fantastic throughout um, some people don't like the flashback stories they think it slows down the uh, the pace of it I personally loved them I think it fleshes out Conan a lot more. So yeah, definitely pick up the trades. But as of this, can't really recommend this because I don't want anybody spending close to 90 bucks and then the binding falling apart on them. Sorry. So with that, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I will make, once again, I'll make an updated video if the new copy I get, the binding holds up. So, bye.